how do you send a voucher once you've got it completed? Well, you go to your list here, you'll notice I'm under this tab under the gate access under fast access passes. You'll see the person that you had, um, set up for the, uh, passes. So once you've done that, you go to the view, send voucher, you can click on that. It's going to show you the voucher that's going to be sent where you can print it. You can save it by downloading it as a PDF. And then of course you can here type in the person you want to send it to, send it to their email address and then click the send now button. And that's it is as simple as that. And of course, when it's sent, it will log the date and the time that it was sent. Then of course, once it's sent, this is what the person will receive that you have sent it to. Uh, you'll notice I've got it here. Click on fast pass. It opens up. What happens here? This will be a link that, uh, we can click on to unsubscribe if we want to unsubscribe. Okay. But also here's the pass that we can print or download or what have you. And that's it. I hope that helps. And again, I'll be making a more comprehensive video here pretty soon, but this should help you with regard to answering that quick question as to how do I send the voucher once I've completed it. Okay. Hope you have a good one guys. Take care. Hi, this is Arlie Carson. And this is a quick tutorial on how to create a fast pass using the gate access system. This video is brought to you by the Fripp Island Property Owners Association. Step one, you'll need to download the application for gate access. Just go to your app store with your device and you'll be able to search for gate access and download it. You'll see the familiar icon, which looks like a stop sign. As you'll see on my iPod, you'll notice there's a stop sign symbol right there on the desktop. Now to open the application, you click the stop sign icon. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is enter a community code. As you'll see on these fields at the top of the page. So where do you find the community code? We'll look toward the bottom of the page. You'll start, you'll see the number 102. Now that's kind of a rolling wheel. So what you can do is you can roll up until you find the Fripp Island Property Owners Association symbol. And it's in alphabetical order, so clearly shouldn't be too hard to find. Then press the white select word. And what that does is it populates it in the top window. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is we'll enter our username. Now the username can be your email or it can be a phone number that you had assigned with your account. So in this case, I will log in with the phone number and then I will enter the passcode. And then I will press login. Now, if you notice the buttons on the right, you can move them to the right to save that information so that you don't have to re-enter that the next time you come in. So let's go into the system. At the bottom of the window, you'll see there are three icons. There's a gear icon that you can go in and adjust your account information. You can also look up recent visitors or history with the house icon. And then of course, for the QR code on the lower left corner, you'll see the barcode icon, which is the button that you would press to activate your scheduled passes or create a pass. If you want to create a pass, all you have to do is press the plus symbol at the very top left corner and then populate the information and then click the add send. Notice the plus symbol in the upper left corner. Now, if you'd like to go ahead and send a pass to someone that you've created a pass for, all you have to do is press that person and what it'll do, it'll activate a window saying, this is the person you'd like to send it to clearly. And then you press the save send at the top right corner. Now, when the window opens, you'll see you have several options. Do not send at this time is one of the options. Or the second option, send barcode via iMessage. iMessage is an iOS text messaging app. Or the third option, send a digital wallet via iMessage. That is a digital 
barcode, if you will, that stays on the phone. So they can pull out their phone and whomever is at the gate can scan the information on the phone. You can copy the barcode or you can copy the digital wallet on your own phone. In this case, we're going to choose send a barcode via iMessage. Now, when the window opens, you'll see that it's created a QR code for the client. You'll see that the flashing cursor is in the text field where you can choose who that person is. Type in the contact information and it will populate. In my case, I'm going to send it to me. At the bottom of the barcode, you'll notice the gray arrow pointing to the right. Push in that center area. That opens up an additional text window that you can add more text or information if you want. All this will be sent to that person. When you're done, you press the blue up arrow and you're done. It's sent to them where they'll be able to receive it and print it or use it however they feel they need. Now let's look at the second option. Choose our client. When the window opens, send a digital wallet via iMessage. What this has created is a link. What they can do is they can use this information so that it shows up on their phone. Just by pressing that link, they will see the QR code on their phone, which can be scanned at the gate. Let's look at another option. The fourth option, which is copy the barcode. You're done. You can copy this and paste this in an outgoing email. The fourth option, or the fifth option, I should say, is copy the digital wallet which is once again, what you've done is you've copied the URL or the web address that goes directly to that specific QR code that could be pasted in an email and sent out. So as you can see, it's a simple process to use the gate access app on an iOS device to send a fast access pass. You can create a client and send it. If you've already created the client, you can send it later. I hope this tutorial has been very informative and thank you for your time. So for all of us at the Fripp Island Property Owners Association, have a great day. Hi, this is Arlie Carson, and this is a quick tutorial on creating a fast pass using an Android mobile device. This tutorial is brought to you by the Fripp Island Property Owners Association. Initially, in order to use the gate access application on your Android device, you'll need to download it from your Google Play Store. Once installed, you'll see the red stop sign shaped icon on your Android device. Just press that icon. The app will open. The first thing you'll need to do is toward the top, you'll see it says community code. Just press beside what you see and then just scroll down till you find FIPOA. These are all in alphabetical order. So it shouldn't take too long to find that. If you want to save that so that the next time you come back, you don't have to search, just press the remember search. The next thing you need to do is enter the username. This could be the email address or the phone number you have associated with your account. In my case, I will enter the number. So press. Once you have that entered, if you want to save that, remember the choice as well. And then the last thing we need to do is enter the password or the passcode and ask it to save that as well. Then just press the login. When the application opens, you may or may not see anyone already entered into your system. So what you'll need to do is create one. In this case, what you'll do is press the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. When this opens, you can enter the information 
for that person. You can select a date, select a date, and then you can say by pressing the check button, it'll actually take you right on into the creation process for creating that fast access pass. In this case, I'm going to close this. And what I'll do is I will go back to one of the good folks that are already entered. This is what it'll look like when their information's entered. So what we'll do is we'll press the check. And now let's create a pass. Now we're given two options. One is to send by barcode. The other is to send by a digital wallet link. Now the do not send at this time is just a way of turning it off. So let's choose send by barcode. It's going to open up and it's going to give us the choices we have available with our Android device to send it. In my case, I'm going to use Gmail. When the application opens, I need to send it to someone. So I will send it to my Gmail address. And then of course the subject. Gate pass, and then just send it. That's it. We're done. Now, the next option is to go and we'll enter it with the digital wallet link. So the process is create the person, enter their information, or one that you've already created, open. And then once that's done, click the check. Same option to open. Now we'll choose the wallet link. And of course, the process is identical. In my case, again, I'm going to choose Gmail. I'm going to send it to my Gmail email address. And again, eight pass and send. And that's it. When you're done, you can press the vertical three dots in the upper right hand corner. And you can log out. And that's it. You're done. So, on behalf of the Fripp Island Property Owners Association, we'd like to thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Take care.